Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot, so hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to be making a resin crystal, and I actually made this mold myself from a real amethyst stone. That was my previous video, so if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. Um, I show you step by step how to make your own silicone molds using an amethyst stone as the piece that you're going to make a mold of. So I just filled this mold up about halfway, and I'm going in with a silicone paintbrush. I just use clear resin, and I'm really kind of getting in there to dislodge those bubbles that land in the points of the silicone mold. Now I'm going to spray it with some 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop those bubbles and I'm going to sprinkle on some mylar glitter. And I'm just going to do this and I'm going to leave it. And then we're going to come in tomorrow and fill the mold up the rest of the way. So here we are the next day. I'm going to go in with some blue interference mica powder from Let's Resin. Um, you can get this set of six interference um, powder powders. It has six colors in the set and it's only $10, which is a really nice um, price point for these. So I'll link them down below along with my coupon code. We're going to use the blue and I'm just going to sprinkle some right on top of that first layer that we poured. And I'm just going to take my gloved finger and kind of smooth that out. See, I'm just, just sprinkled a tiny bit on. I'm going to take my gloved finger spread everything out making sure I get it on the sides as well you don't want to add too much um, because if you do it can kind of clump and um, you don't want that in your finished piece and now we're gonna go in with this gorgeous sapphire blue glitter from let's resin as well it's a holographic blue I mix that in with some clear resin and we're just gonna fill the mold up the rest of the way I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin check out my Milky Way coaster tutorial I'll link it down below I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin it wasn't quite all the way full so I'm going in with a little bit more more of the sapphire blue glitter and I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit more mylar glitter on the back side too and this glitter actually comes in like a set of 12 and it's got 12 different holographic colors super pretty I'll link this set down below along with my coupon code and I'm just gonna take my little stir stick and push that mylar glitter down so none of it is sticking up on the back side um, that way it's gonna kind of be submerged this step actually wasn't necessary I just wanted to see if you would be able to see it um, at all or I was wondering if it would kind of sink so you could see it from the top side but here we are ready to demold it and I just love this sound check it out I just love that crunchy sound when it pops out of the mold, but here's how it turned out. I think it turned out so pretty. You can see that sparkle transferred perfectly right onto the resin. I'm gonna take some scissors and just trim up around the edge um, all those little bits. You can just take some scissors and trim those right off. Here it is all cleaned up. Um, the amethyst that I used to make this mold was super sparkly. So you can see that that sparkle transferred to the mold and then transferred to my resin piece. So definitely check out my last video to see step by step how I made this mold. I had a different idea in my head uh, for this piece that didn't 100% translate, but I still think it turned out really pretty. Um, I am going to try this again, and I'm going to use more amethyst-inspired colors. Um, so definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video coming up. And I had a little bit of the blue sapphire glitter left over, so I made these pretty earrings as well. This mold doesn't take much resin at all, um, but a mold like this, it has a lot of really fine details. So you want to make sure that you use a thinner viscosity resin for a mold like this so it can really get into those grooves and details of the mold and not leave you with any air bubbles. But I, th I wanted to add this little clip to show you guys how cute and pretty these earrings are and how pretty and sparkly that glitter is. 
The resin I use today is a very similar viscosity to the Liquid Diamonds resin. Um, so if you guys have ever used that resin, um, then you know it's a very, very thin viscosity. So a resin like that is good for molds that have a lot of really intricate details like those butterfly wing earrings. But let me know what you guys think of this piece down in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. Um, it helps out my channel if you use my codes to purchase any glitter or any supplies that you need. And go check out a few more of my other videos. That also helps out my channel a lot. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys.